Well, viewers, this is the props. We'll ask questions. I'll make critical analysis on our political past, where it has gotten us to as a people, and where it will possibly take us to in time to come. My name is Okoma Gifty, and I am your host for the show. So we'll be looking at plenty of topics, but let's go for a quick break. When we come back, we'll face business for today. Welcome back from that quick break. Now, we all know for a fact that insecurity has always been a problem in Nigeria, especially the northern part of Nigeria. But the recent killing of people in southern Kaduna is getting out of hands. During the week, I was going through a newspaper report and I came across an article by Human Rights Watch on 31st July 2020 captioned multiple killings in Nigeria Kaduna State which says, the recent wave of daily attacks in the southern part of Nigeria, respectively Kaduna State, has brought a seemingly never-ending cycle of communal violence and impunity into the state back into focus. The media reported that gunmen had killed at least 43 people between July 21st to July 24th, and that 178 people were killed in the past seven months across southern Kaduna communities. As a very concerned citizen of the country, one will be forced to ask, what are the leaders doing about it? I continued my research and I came across another article published by The Guardian on 26 July 2020, captioned, Airify imposes 24 hours curfew on Southern Kaduna Metropolis, which says, Malam Nasser Airify has extended the 24 hours curfew to JAMA and current local government council. Please, you have to pardon me with the pronunciation. I'm not a northerner. He had earlier placed Kaura and Zango Kataf local government council on that curfew. Governor Erofai on his Twitter handle said gunmen attacked three villages on Friday and killed nine persons. He said a 24 hours curfew would take place with immediate effect to contain violence and a false order to protect lives. This is very interesting. But the question we are asking is, how has this improved the current situation? A whole lot of controversies has been attached to this whole story. During the week, I also came across a, an article published by csw.org.uk, captioned, at least 33 killed despite 24 hours curfew. And I read from the second paragraph. According to the survivors from Ayako who hid among maize crops during the attack on their village, a truck resembling an armored military vehicle and military motorcycles drove into the village square while the attack was underway, but no attempt was made to stop the distraction. Survivors also informed the Southern Kaduna People Union that Fulani youth who were born and raised in the affected villages were among the Malitia that attacked them. They would come to a compound and shout out the name of the occupants, challenging them to come out and face them. Well, the jihad or not, politically motivated or not, ethnic cleansing or whatever you may call it the government has to put an end to this issue else it will go out it will go beyond what it currently is if there is one thing i could remember the present government promised nigerians before they were sworn into power was 100 percent security the question we are asking now is what happened to those promises and why are we where we are <music> Into our next story, we all know that raw material has played an important role in every country's economy, especially developing countries, of which Nigeria is included. Nigeria is one of the African countries that are blessed with raw materials, which should enable us not to import raw material from foreigners. And that is why institutions like RMRDC, that is the Raw Materials Research Development Council, is established to help maintain the production and development of raw materials in the country. But before we dive into the story, let's check this agency's core values, their missions and visions. And this will take us to the agency's website, which is rmrdc.gov.ng. The Raw Materials Research and Development Council, RMRDC, is an agency of the federal government of Nigeria under the supervision of Federal Ministry of Science and Technology, vested with mandate to promote the development and utilization of Nigeria industrial raw materials is originated from recommendations of workshop on industrial matters organized by then federal minister of industry manufacturers association of nigeria and the nigeria institute of social economic 
research in, in July 1983. Now, when you go down the paragraph, you will see their mission and their vision. Our vision, to be an indispensable catalyst for industrial growth and development in Nigeria. And our mission, to promote the development and optimal utilization of Nigeria's natural resources for growth. Wow, very, very interesting. But on the contrary, it saddens my heart when I hear the director general of the same agency in the person of Professor Ibrahim Hassan stating Kilishi as the achievement of this agency in 30 years. This is very, very funny. But majority of us might think I'm making this up. Let's read what the paper is saying. And this is coming from Punch. Captioned, drama in Senate as RMRDC boss Liz Kilishi as research breakthrough. And I take it from the first paragraph. Kilishi is a locally spiced roasted meat made of beef and is very popular in northern parts of Nigeria. The chairman of the Senate panel, Senator Uche, has asked the Director General to tell Nigerians what specific raw material the agency has successfully produced in the country in partnership with other research institutes. And I read down. An elected Ibrahim proudly told the panel that despite its lack of laboratory, the 33-year-old agency has succeeded in producing the local meat delicacy, Kilishi, for commercial production as part of the agency's breakthrough. Honestly, I think there should be clear qualities for appointment of persons in government offices. Okay, viewers, we've come to the end of today's episode on the probes. Don't forget to get interactive with us via our social media handles on Facebook, it's VNTV, on YouTube and Instagram, it's VNationTV. My name is Okoma Gifty. Meet you same time next week. <laughs>